I recently had my first CNN article written about me about how Gen Z is burnt out and quitting their jobs to full-time travel. I did this in May of 2021 and traveled to eight countries solo with just a backpack and living on the 10K that I saved from my corporate job for the two years that I worked. Although the article frames it as I was unmotivated and unable to work, I was actually tired of the mundane and would rather do something more adventurous even if it was challenging. As anything on the internet, it was getting a lot of hate not believing a young adult can do this on her own without a sugar daddy. And I've acknowledged my privilege of not having student debt and a great support system. I finance this all on my own and even my parents were shocked. While I was traveling on my savings, I was only staying in hostels, never paying more than $20 a night and volunteering through programs like Angloville in Europe and World Packers in South America. Throughout my year, I shared all of my tips and recommendations on how to travel solo and how to stay in hostels and travel on a budget. My social media started to grow. And even though I wasn't working officially, while I was sharing stuff on social media, I started getting paid to travel and had the most incredible experiences like visiting the Galapagos Islands and hiking to Machu Picchu. In August of 2022, before I planned on moving to Madrid to teach English, I got a partnership contract to promote an all-inclusive resort for a brand in mexico with two reels for two thousand dollars that's when i knew i could do something with everything i'd built on my social media the last year i moved to madrid to teach english so i actually was working again although the article paints my life as i quit my job to travel it's more that i found a way to work and travel and make traveling my work which is something i'm genuinely passionate about and since then i've been able to do incredible things like walk the camino de santiago in five days lead my first group trip to pakistan that six people signed up for that were complete strangers and now i'm currently backpacking turkey with new friends that i made along the way in hostels